In this video, we're going to set up the Mayflash light gun dolphin bar and uh, using a Wii remote as a light gun. And we're going to be setting up Techno Parrot. We're going to play Transformers, Golden Gun, Dream Raiders. Um, really easy to do. It seems intimidating at first. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. One way where you just download that one Transformers ROM and a fresh install of Techno Parrot. And then you can kind of add your own games from there. And then the other one using an add on pack that I downloaded, which had a bunch of these games already installed on it. And so a lot of the work was already done for you. I will show you either way you wanna do it, but now you can play these games from the comfort of your own home. And these games are pretty cool. So here is the uh, forum. I'll link to this if you wanna get all these downloads and everything that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial. This is a down and dirty. I'm also going to be using a coin ops build that I got off of arcadepunks.com. So um, either of those websites are fine. As you can see, I downloaded the Transformers, I downloaded the No Mouse, and I downloaded the Techno Parrot. I already have seven zips, so I just right click and extracted them. So I have my Techno Parrot all extracted and I have my Transformers all extracted as well. I also, like I said, have a um, Coin Ops next build with a uh, Techno Parrot add-on. And so it's in Ring Edge. And so I have a few other ROMs, like I'm gonna also be doing Sega Golden Gun. There's also House of the Dead 4, but in this video I'm just gonna focus on these two games. And this one actually has Transformers as well. So it looks like it's the same file, but this one I got from Arcade Punks, this one I got from that website. You wanna put your Mayflash Light Dolphin uh, light gun bar in mode two. Oh, and I didn't, I have not glued mine to my monitor because I wanna move it to some other monitors. Then you click this, you can click sync on there, it's already synced. Now, mode two is mouse mode. So if you notice, when I move this gun now, I'm moving the mouse on my computer. So that's all you're doing is you're replicating this light gun to pretend to be a mouse. And if you go into your Microsoft Windows device editor, this is gonna come up as a mouse all of a sudden. So I have two, two mice uh, hooked up. So let's go ahead and load Techno Parrot. So on the left side, we have the coin ops. On the right side, we have those downloads I mentioned. I'm gonna stop this tutorial here as far as this part. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? You just gotta open Techno Parrot, launch it. Please go ahead and update it. It won't, it's good to have the latest version. You go over here to add games. Scroll down to Transformers. Go ahead and press Add. It should show up. I've already added it. And then in your library, you're gonna have it here. Go to Game Settings. You're gonna ask for the executable file. So in order to do that, and you go to the dumped. Um, I usually leave X input off because we're not really using a controller here. Make sure free to play is on. Windowed mode only if you have like a bad computer who can't run it full screen, I'd run it full screen. Use this mouse for gun, yes. And then you can go ahead and try using the hide cursor and it'll get rid of the mouse on your screen. Don't forget to save your settings. If you have any issues with the light gun, you might wanna turn this off. I've heard some people have issues with that, but you can get, I got away with keeping it on. Save settings, controller setup. All I wanna do is set up coin controllers. I have, have G and H for my coin and my start button on my keyboard. Everything else, my trigger is gonna be coming from my uh, light gun and then all the, the up, down, left, right. You're using a mouse, so you don't need to program this. You only need a coin and a start button. I recommend using a keyboard. You can use a controller plugged in, whatever. Don't, don't forget a game again to save, and then you can launch the game. All right, and then over here, we have the Techno Parrot that came with the add-on pack that I was telling you about earlier that already had a lot of games set up. The one thing you do wanna do is go ahead and go to options and then enable updates. You might wanna update the Techno Parrot emulator. Um, and then you just gotta do the same things. The games are already added though. You don't have to do the add game. You can skip that step, but you still wanna go to game settings, turn on mouse as um, your gun, and then make sure you hide the cursor if you want it hidden. Again, that script's kind of iffy. If you want, you can try the other no mouse hack, which I downloaded and I installed. You just wanna dump it in that directory. You can see behind this techno parrot, you can see them there. And you just run those scripts and it hides your mouse as well. It's a second option if you're having problems hiding your mouse. But anyways, once you set your coins, mouse's gun, and you can just launch these games and they should run no problem whatsoever. And both of these ways, whether you wanna start with just Transformers or start with the pack, you can absolutely add more games uh, to it. It's all up to you. So now let's, let's play some games already. Wait, Sam. All right. Do I really have to deliver the device with this ice girl? Ah. Sam, 
Sam! Decepticons are approaching. Huh? De Decepticons? You are the- Who will drive the car? I will take over from here. Oh, are you kidding? What is that? What are we? We are aware of your situation. Now enter the right up ahead and beat Squad 3 there. Roger that. There are so many enemies and they came out of nowhere. They madly want the device in your hand. We are about to reach the assembly point. Target confirmed! Start Operation Cover-Up! Requesting Autobots backup! Optimus! You're right on time! Optimus Prime! Huh? Motorbike this time! Please don't come over! Pay attention! I'm in the crosshair! I'm working on it right now! And show every you see him. Well, I got rid of him. Wow! What? Uh, take this! You mean we should be heroes, right? Shut up! Shoot. It's coming! <laughs> So there you have it, how to set up Techno Parrot. Um, great, great little system, these arcade games, especially now in quarantine, you can't access them very easily. So one Dolphin Bar, please get the Mayflash one per controller, the Wii Remote, and then you have all sorts of options with guns. Um, I know there's a lot more games for this emulator as well. You can see this one, I haven't hidden my mouse on it. You can either hide your mouse, not hide your mouse. But um, as far as a cheap, down and dirty alternative, this is great. I know a lot of people have been commenting on my videos about some other more promising technology, like the aim track gun, which is out. And then there's that new Kickstarter gun that uh, people keep pointing out to me. And I love to check those out. I have not put my hands on them yet, but um, I would love to. And once I do, I'll definitely make a video. But for the time being, I think this is, it, it scratches the itch. And um, especially right now, you can't go to arcade. It really scratches the, the itch. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure it's in mode two and make sure you get the Mayflash bar. With all that said, thank you for liking and subscribing and we'll catch you on the next one. Shoot!